Hi, I'm Kathleen McWayne, and in this video, I'm showing you how I painted a blanket flower, just step by step. It's faster than I painted it, but after I get this painted and the ink lines on it, then I do a demonstration of how I create a repeat pattern. Now, you won't see most of the steps, but what I'm doing is inviting you to become a member of Water Brush Teacher Saturday classes and Saturday videos. For a small amount of money, you can attend all of those Saturday classes or any of them that you're able to, and you can watch all of the Saturday videos, even if you miss the class. I will be teaching how I journal, my inspirations behind the journaling, and I will be teaching watercolor painting with patterns, and I will teach sketching on Saturdays, and I will also be showing you how to do these repeat patterns or at least how I do these repeat patterns. I will teach you about having a Spoonflower account or maybe a Pixels.com or a Fine Art America account or possibly other print-on-demand companies. It's the thing of the future with watercolor painting and I think if you want to learn how to paint in watercolor or if you already know how, these will be classes that you will greatly benefit from because I am definitely going forward with all of these different ways of enjoying your watercolor paintings. And I thank you for joining me. The demonstration on creating the repeat pattern that'll be coming up in just a moment. First of all, I separated each one of the elements that we painted in, that you saw in the first demonstration. And now I'm taking it into Photoshop Elements and I create a repeat, just kind of a random design with these. I have a few false starts on this particular one, but I don't bore you with those details. But I'll teach you what to look for when you upload and you think, oh, that just looks wonderful. And then all of a sudden you realize that it's got all kinds of things showing that you don't want it to. I teach you about all of those things. I have spent years trying to do this and now that I'm successful, I'm ready to show the way I do it with you and my other students. So I hope that you will like me on Facebook and Instagram and also follow me on YouTube and give me a like on this video so that I know. And if you will subscribe and sign up for my newsletter. Those are the ways that you can be sure to know what's going on. So waterbrushteacher.com is the place to sign up for my newsletter. You may also know me through Quilt Blocks Art or Quilt Block Art on Instagram. Thank you. I look forward to getting to know you and um, Let's just have a lot of fun with what we can do with watercolor paintings and repeat patterns. Thank you.